Gems of the Internet has almost been around for two years. While this is the case, one can notice that most of the gems end up being YouTubers, which doesn't bode too well because the term internet portrays that it can be found anywhere online, not just natively on YouTube. With that said, there have been some things that I've found on the internet that don't have much substance for a full gem episode. Finally, most of the things aren't even on YouTube, but rather Twitter and Instagram. This is why I'm establishing this series, to showcase some accounts that are worthwhile to glance at and maybe even follow if it suits your taste. Basically, this is a <laughs> low budget <laughs> gems of the internet. With the accounts that I've chosen, one could easily make a Venn diagram of the three different genres that we're looking at here. Since half these people are artists who I deem to be very talented, that is where our journey will start. These would be Junkiebot, Strange Planet, McKay Fife, Miguel Vasquez, Vasquez, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, and Big Kid. Junkiebot is an art student who loves to draw and is located on Instagram. While in general his work is really good, what caught my eye were the robots that he drew. The attention to detail of the mechanics of the bots, anywhere from the joints in the hands, to conveying the attitude of each individual droid. It's one of those art pieces that rewards you the more you look at it. Strange Planet is a comic series made by Nathan Pyle. This normally four-paneled comic strip portrays some aliens on Earth who discover things about our planet. It's one of the most innocent comic strips I've ever seen that also has very detailed analytical dialogue with the characters, which adds to the comedy. In a way, it could be classified as a commentary about our lives, except from the perspective of an extraterrestrial, which is a very interesting perspective. McKay Fife is a cartoonist, illustrator, and character designer on Instagram. While most of his art revolves around geek culture, movies, shows, games, and OCs, how I discovered him was his quite epic crossover fan art with Gus Johnson, Sabrina, Eddie Burback, Drew Gooden, Danny Gonzalez, James Allen McCune, Sven Johnson, and Nakey Jakey. I honestly love this art so much. And because of that, it led me to browse his other art, like his portrayal of game posters, which is very impressive. These last two are where it starts getting weird. But nevertheless, there's definitely talent behind this work. Miguel Vizqui Miguel V, I'm not gonna pronounce it again, and Big Kid. I have to add at least a little bit of a disclaimer because while researching these two accounts, I did find some art that isn't very censored. While I'm not advocating this kind of creative behavior, most of the art is good. But if you go to these people's accounts, just be warned. Miguel, an artist who works with 3D, who can be found on both Instagram and Twitter, creates 3D models of beloved characters, mostly from children's cartoons. The thing is, the whole point about his creativity is creating disturbing images of beloved characters. His one about Ed, Ed, and Eddie blew up on Twitter, which I will not show you because it is actually kind of <laughs> creepy. Despite this, I find it intriguing due to the talent and the proportions Miguel uses to create it from 2D to 3D. Big Kid is an Instagram artist who's weird, if not weirder than Miguel, simply because his works are mostly original, besides some portrayals of cartoon characters. It's one of those counts that you see out of the blue, and you think to yourself, is he okay? <laughs> Nevertheless, it seems like each individual drawing has an underlying meaning, so that's very much appreciated. Now that we're out of the weird zone, it's time to lighten up the mood and laugh a little with these comedic accounts. That Soggy Nugget is on Instagram as well as TikTok, and is basically the ASDF movie of those platforms. Basically, they do random lol skits. <laughs> either using one of four tactics, besides the one-offs that they make. It's either a skit using some Simpsons characters, We need to be at the quickie mart of my bar! Dino gloves, Guess I'll just eat my sandwich. Get away! Full body suit people, More like Pepsi trash! Or the British authority. There's alcohol in that mouth, what? what? How, How old are you, son? Seventeen. Seventeen?! I'm the right I didn't know. <laughs> this is my favorite comedy account on Instagram, has made me laugh way too hard, and has gotten quite a lot of traction to the point where people have started making compilations on YouTube of these people's specific skits. Highly recommended. The other one is Christina Catucci. These last names, are they gonna be the death of me, I swear. She is mainly a writer who occasionally draws characters in comics. I first found her when one of her video tweets about the life of a YouTuber versus a film student gained a lot of attention. The last time I tried to apply for a PA job, I got my identity stolen on entertainmentcareers.net 
and now I can't afford to buy my friends Christmas presents because my credit's all frozen. Yeah, I work super hard, dude. I'm a hashtag self-made filmmaker artist girl boss. I just bought my mom a house in Malibu because I spit in a guy's coffee outside the Home Depot. And is what made me stick around for her goofy slash sarcastic personality. These last three are animation based. These would be Johnson Scott, Blotter Media, and Trace. Johnson Scott is an animator on Twitter. His finished output is honestly gorgeous to look at due to style, how the animation flows, the simplistic yet vibrant color palette he chooses, and the transitions between scenes that flow seamlessly in his short film Moths. Basically, the attention to detail is incredible. <laughs> Blotter Media is located on Instagram and is a mix of animation, music, and dancing. Each video would either contain one or multiple people dancing, usually to a rap track, but in addition to that, there would be some animated colorful outlines that relate to the song, to give it that extra flair, to highlight specific dance moves, and to just look awesome in the process. An account that is personally one of my favorites out of the entirety that I've mentioned previously. Tracer is an animator on Twitter, and is one to mostly rely on rotoscoping for his animations. His works of art are usually people who have big followings, and makes the coolest form of fan art I have ever seen. There's even one of Nakey Jakey, which is how I found Traced in the first place. All of these people are doing very great work that I very much appreciate. Each individual person has done something different than the rest, despite some even being in the same genre as others. It shows that people can be rewarded from being different from the crowd, especially when people are digging up this buried treasure for the first time.